Our Seeds of Faith for today is entitled, Life in Jesus Christ. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the central point of His life and ministry. His words and actions have meaning because He has resurrected from the dead. The key to understanding all that is written in the Gospels and the whole Bible is the resurrection of the Lord. Now, one of the things that Jesus has brought to us through His resurrection is on having a meaningful life. Now, what kind of life is this? Let me share to you four things from the word life. Letter L, living in the light and not in the darkness. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The resurrection of the Lord validated these very words, and therefore we can live a life that is not in darkness anymore. Paul affirms this by reminding us to be children of light. In Ephesians 5, 8 to 9, he said, For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Letter I, inspiring people. The disciples were dejected after the death of Jesus. They were in hiding. But suddenly, when Jesus appeared to them, their lives were transformed. They became courageous and full of hope. They inspired people, and literally thousands accepted the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ. Now, we too, who have received Jesus Christ, must inspire people. The world around us needs a lot of inspiration as we continue to face the pandemic. We need Christians that instill hope instead of fear. Letter F, following the commands of Jesus. Now, the commands of Jesus in the Gospels are very difficult to follow. It requires us to deny ourselves, pick up the cross, and follow the will of God. Now, if Jesus has not resurrected from the dead, then there is no point in following His commands. But since the tomb cannot hold Jesus, His commands become authoritative and need to be obeyed no matter what the cost. Letter E, enjoying salvation. In 1 Peter chapter 1, 8-9, to the apostle is reminding us to experience this glorious joy because we have received the gift of salvation. He wrote, Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith. And what is that? The salvation of your souls. May we all have this kind of life empowered by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. May God bless us all. Amen.